Hello guys, it's your one and only C Fashion Academy. Today I present to you a very hot topic, a very, very real topic, how to make a smoked or shed dress. Please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome back. It's still your one and only C Fashion Academy. Today I'll be teaching us how to make a smoked dress. What do I mean by a smoked dress? I think all of us have seen this kind of clothes that um, we usually use elastic trick to make. At the end of the day, it looks very straight. That is a smoked dress or shed dress. You can also call it shed dress. That's the picture you are seeing on the screen now. Okay, so before you make the dress, um, we have our measurement. We have our round boss, which is what? 35 and a half. We have our round underboss, which is 30 inches. We have our underboss point, which is 13 inches. We have our hip line, which is 25. We have our round hip, which is 40. The navel, 31 and a half. Gun length, 38. But the truth is that with all these measurements, when we'll be working on this, uh, as we'll be working on this clothes, we are not even going to need all these measurements from A to Z. Okay, so after the measurement, next thing we need to do is to fold our material. For you to remember what we're making is a smoked dress, but it's an off shoulder of the shoulder. It's not a shoulder smoked dress, it's an off shoulder smoked dress. Okay, so first thing you do is to fold your fabric. So for you to fold your fabric, please I want you guys to focus very well. Make sure you watch this video till the end. For you to fold your fabric, or you need to be working with the what highest circumference. The highest circumference in this case is what? The round hip, which is what? 40. Then divide your round hip 40 by 4, which will be giving us what? 10 inches. Then add 6 inches to that your 10 inches, which will be what? 16 inches. So it means that what you'll be folding should be what? 16 inches. Okay. Remember, how I said it is what? Your highest circumference, which is the hip, divided by 4 plus 6 inches, which is what? 16 inches. Okay. So, you should measure out your 16 inches. As you can see, I've already gotten my 16 inches. Mine is more than 16 inches, which is still okay. Now, fold for both your front and the back. Fold for both your front and the back. Okay. Now, we fold it for both front and back. Next thing we are going to do is to mark out your measurement points. Now, the measurement points are... See, please, I want you guys to notice something. Starting from the off shoulder, I will not be starting from one inch. Are you saying it? I will not be starting from here immediately. Since it's an off shoulder, I am minusing three inches from this off shoulder. You can also minus more than three inches. You can minus four inches. You can minus five inches. But in this case, I'm removing what? Three inches. As you can see, okay, let me totally remove this particular um, label so that we understand very well. Okay, so as you can see, I've removed 3 inches here. So now I've removed 3 inches. Our under boss length is what? 13 inches. As you can see, the under boss length is what? 13 inches. Mark out your 13 inches. Mark it out. Then use your rule and do what? Connect. Draw a straight line. Next thing you are going to do is to do what? You are going to mark out your boss length. Our boss length is... Our bust length is nine and a half inches. As you can see, this is nine and a half inches. You can also get your bust length by doing what? Stepping up by what? Three inches. You can either use, you can either measure directly your bust length or use the standard. Standard for um, under bust length of um, 13 is what? Stepping up by what? Three inches. Okay. But in this case, we measured our bust length, which is what? Nine and a half. Okay. So mark out your what? Nine and a half inches. Okay, after you finish marking it, what do you do next? You take your rule and do or join, connect. Next is what? The hip line. The hip line in this case is how many? 25 inches. As you can see, we have our 25 here. Then mark again. Please, why we are doing this our markings two times is so that we always get a straight line. Because if you do not do it two times, you might end up getting a very, like, a line that is not straight. Okay, so next next um, measurement point you are going to mark is the word gown length. Please, I want you guys to, here is very important, I want you guys to focus, make sure you focus. Gown length is 38 inches, quite alright. But remember we are making a smoked dress. Now, let's mark out the 38 inches. That is where the customer wants the gown to stop. Mark out your word, 38 inches, okay? Mark it out. Now, I want you guys to understand something. Please make sure you focus. 
since it's a smoked dress, it deals with elastic trade share. Okay. It means that when we finish making this cloth, this cloth is no longer going to be at this state 8 inches. It's going to shrink upward towards like it's going to even reduce by what 4 inches, 5 inches, depending. Do you understand on how you did your sewing? So, because of that reason, we are not leaving it at that 8, eight inches exactly. We are also going to add extra to the length. You can add from 4 inches to 5 inches extra, even 6 inches, depending. Okay, now I'm adding 5 inches to it. Extra. Are you seeing it? So that, let it not be that after you finish making your clothes, it will reduce the length of your clothes. In order to avoid that, please add extra 5 inches to your clothes. As you can see, I've added extra 5 inches to my clothes. This is very, very important. You cannot see this thing anywhere. So that's why you should watch this video to the end. Okay, now we are done with our measurement points. This is the bust line. This is the on, um, under bust line. This is the hip line. And this is what can let down. This one now is for the word shrinking. You add extra for the word shrinking. Okay. So now it's time to put in our measurement. Now let's start from the bust. The round bust is what? 35. No, the round bust is 35 and a half. Okay, now 35 and a half divided by um 35 and a half divided by 4 is going to give us what? What? 8.875. So you now have to impute your 8.875. Approximately, this is equal to what? 9 inches. Okay, but I'm using it exactly 8.875. So you mark it out. After marking it out, next thing you are going to remember what I said. Since you are making a smoked dress, shared dress, next thing you need to do is to do what? Add extra 6 inches to it. Please, this is very, very important. You cannot see. It will be hard for you to see this particular skill or technique anywhere else. So that's what you are going to do. Add extra 6 inches to every of your measurements. That's how you do it. Okay. I've added six inches to it. Okay. Now, next thing you are going to do is to do what? Your underboss is what? The underboss is what? 30 inches. So, 30 divided by 4 is what? 7.5. Now, measure out the 7.5. Add your extra what to it? Your extra six inches to it. Next is your round hip. Round hip is 40 divided by 4, which is what? 10 inches. Okay. This is your 10 inches. Add your extra six inches allowance to it. Okay, so next thing we are going to do now is what? We are going to connect. Now look at our connection. Look at it. We are going to really connect. Now, with this my connection, look at it. Now we've connected. Are you seeing it? We've connected it. So after we finish connecting it, next thing you need to do is to do what? Cut it out. Please, there's something I want to stress out. There's something I want to explain here. Some persons, see, some persons don't like imputing the measurement. All they do, see, it is still very much correct. If you like, you can also do that. All they do is, immediately they measure out from the highest circumference, they draw a straight line. That will also give you a very nice dress. But for me, I like using the person's individual shape. Do you understand? So this is also very important. So next thing I'm going to do now is to do what? I'm going to cut out. So now that I've finished cutting out, remember, since it's an off shoulder, we need to work on the neck. Do you understand? Since it's an off shoulder, we need to work on the neck. So for us to work on the neck, look at how I'm going to do, look at how I'm going to effect it. Please, I want you guys to be very careful here. For an off shoulder, for me to work on the neck, now, for me to get the armhole length, see how I'm, I get the armhole length. Remember what we minus from this thing is what? Three inches. And also remember that shoulder, or there's always a slant at the shoulder. And what we use to get that slant is how many inches? Um, one inch. Do you understand? Sometimes we use half inch to what? One inch. So now, what we are going to do now is what? Since it's three, are you seeing it? Since it's three, so look at it now. What we actually minus is what? Three inches. Now look at it now. You now mark out your what? Armhole length. Armhole length is what? I'm going to let in this case for this particular what's the shoulder. Remember, I usually use the shoulder. Shoulder is 15 inches. So it means that 15 divided by 2 is what? 7.5. That is the arm holder. Now I'm not going to stop here because remember, shoulder is always slanted by what? One inch. So that one inch is not here because of what? This is an off shoulder. So in that case, I'm going to add extra one to this seven and a half, making it what? Eight and a half. Please, I hope you guys understand this thing. See what I mean? Remember, for you to mark out your armhole length, what we, 
You see, we excluded three inches because we are making an off shoulder. So since we excluded three inches, now I'm excluding it. And my arm hole length, how do I get my arm hole length? I just get my arm hole length by dividing the shoulder by two. The shoulder is 15 inches. Dividing it by two is what? Seven and a half. Now this extra one inch allowance I added towards this thing now is because we are supposed to slant our shoulder by what? Um, one inch. And now since we are not slanting it now because we are making an off shoulder, so I now have to add it back to this very part. Hope you guys understood it. Okay. So this is it now. So next thing we are going to do is to do what? Cover the armhole. Um, next thing we are going to do is to do what? Cover the what? Armhole curve. There you go. So for you to get the armhole curve, remember we've gotten our armhole length. I hope you guys understood how we got the armhole length. So for you to get the armhole curve, the easiest way to do it, please remember, everything you are seeing here is my method. The easiest way to do it, since we are making a smoked dress, please remember this is specially for what smoked dress. The easiest way to do it is from here, stepping by what, 5 inches. Are you seeing it? From this very part, look at it. Stepping by what, 5 inches. And to get this very part, is from your what, bust you rule what straight do you understand so from this very part stepping by what five inches so now in that case we have these five inches and we also have what we also have the um armhole length where the armhole stops so the next thing you need to do is to do or take your chalk and do what connect so when you connect automatically you've gotten the what armhole curve so next thing you need to do is to do what cut it out okay so here comes our um, off shoulder smoked dress, but it is not smoked yet. Next thing we are going to do, please remember we are cutting both the front and the back together. Do you understand? So next thing we are going to do now is to do what? We are going to open the back. Now some of us will be like, why is there no allowance at the back for zip allowance? Please, if you like, you can put your zip allowance, but for me, I don't think it's necessary because this thing already has excess allowance on it. So, and for the back, this thing obviously is not going to have a zip. So all I'm going to do, I'm, going, I'm just going to open it like that. When I open it, when I finish sewing, next thing I'm going to do is to do what? When I finish sewing, next thing I'm going to do is to do what? Just close it back with what? Half inch. Okay. So we are done with cutting um, this very dress. Next thing we are going to do, we are going to sew. So how do we sew? Please. I want you guys to know, first of all, you are going to join this very side. Look at what we are going to do. You are going to join the sides first. Okay? We are going to join the side first. Look at what I mean by joining the side first. We are going to take it to the machine. Join these two sides. Are you seeing it? We are going to join these two sides. Also, join these very two sides here. Now, after we finish joining it, now, we now have a very long dress. That is on this very part now. That is the one we are going to sew half, half inch with our wall smoked straight and everything. We are going to sew, we are going to start sewing on all of them. At the end of the day, we will join it from the wall center back after we finish um, um, sewing. So, please, I'm back. So, now, if you look at this now, you see that I've joined both sides. I mean, I've joined the um, front and the back together do you understand now look at it now this is the center back are you seeing it so when i this is the armhole side so when i show like this when i show like you see this is the front center when i go like this now you now see this is another side coupled okay i can also turn it for you guys to see it look at it here this is one of the side are you seeing it so i'll finish coupling both of them and i'll finish weaving it out do you understand so this is it so next thing we are going to do is to do what give yourself a guide in sewing what do I mean by giving yourself a guide in sewing? Look at it now. Now, you can automatically, look at it, you can automatically take your rule, look at it, take your rule, mark out your word, half inch. Are you saying it? Mark it out straight. When you mark it out straight, are you saying it? I'm using my chalk to mark it out. This might not be so because it's not straight. Do you understand? So that's why you do it. You can see if you want, if you cannot sew straight, what you're going to do is to do what? If you cannot sew straight, please, what you're going to do is to do what? Make sure you mark this thing, mark this thing to the, like, mark it to the end. And but as you can see, I already have, this material already has a guide for me. These are the lines. So I can sew on this, sew on this, then sew another one at the middle. That is if I want. Do you understand? Because I cannot actually use this because this is up to one inch. So what you are going to sew, you are going to sew 
with what half half inch interval look at it so obviously i have a guide to follow are you seeing it i have a guide to follow so that's what we are going to do and um, we are going to be what sewing look at it now look at from here you sew with your elastic thread are you seeing it from here then you now you're not entering to this very part are you seeing it this is what we are going to do. so you're going to follow me to the machine and see how i do it thank you very much so first of all remember what i said i'm going to first close these edges do you understand? I'm going to first close this edge. So that's what I'll be doing now. Okay, let me on my machine. Okay, let's close the edges. Now we are done folding out the edges. Next thing we are going to do is what? We are going to start sewing. And I know that this is the part that most of you are waiting to see. Now I'm going to teach you. But please, before I start teaching you how to sew this thing, I want you guys to do something. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel. Because if you don't subscribe, how can you keep asking? You need to encourage us. Do you understand? Encourage us by subscribing. Also, please don't forget to like this video. Because the more you like this video, the more others get to see it. So try and help others see this video. Do you understand? So thank you very much. So we are going to start doing it. But before we start doing it, I'm going to teach you what and what you have to do now. First of all, as you can see now, look at this very um, ruler. Now read your elastic trade. Now look at the elastic trade. This one is has not yet been opened. Are you understand? This one has been opened already. Now look at what we are going, what you are going to use. Are you saying it? Use the matching color you need to use. Now take it and reel it at the reel it on the ruler. Are you saying it? Yes. You reel it on the word bobbin. Now, after if, now, please, when you are reeling it, please don't draw it. Don't draw it. Reel it according to how, like, reel it normally. Do you understand? Normally. Now, some of us will be like, should I reel it all through with hand? Please, it's not compulsory that you use hand. You can also use your machine and reel, like automatic reeling. Do you understand? So that's what you're going to do. Okay, so this is how you are going to reel it. First of all, use your hand and tie it up like this. When you tie it up, so next thing you are going to do is to match your machine in order to read. Please don't draw it while reeling it. Don't draw it. Don't draw it while reeling it. So, as you can see, we are done reeling this very one. Okay, so next thing you are going to do, you are going to put it in your shuttle to start sewing. Meg, please, as you are sewing, or you always need to know one thing. This one is always in front, on top, while this one is under. Uh, uh, in the shuttle, this one is on top. You'll be sewing on top of the clothes while this one is under. Do you understand? So, you cannot use this one on top, you only use this one you're seeing the normal trade on top. Why this one will be at the under? So, as you can see, you can see this is the uh, ruler. I've read the uh, elastic trade in there. Are you seeing it? So, next thing is to do or put it inside your shuttle. When you put it inside your shuttle, okay, are you seeing it? It's okay now. So, next thing you need to do, you need to put it. Are the what where it's supposed to be so when you put it where it's supposed to be then use this one and bring it out if it cannot come out please make sure it comes out it coming out means that it is ready for what stitching okay now it is out now it's time to sew so this is how we sew Okay. Remember what I said, the interval the you should be using is what half half inch. Okay. So now look at it. Are you seeing it? Just continue sorry. Well, there is one secret about this uh, um, smoked um, dress. The secret is that if you sew once, it seems as if it is not working, like as if your elastic weight, like as if it's not shrinking. It's sometimes it's not from any, like 
there is no problem with it. Do you understand? All you need to do is to sew like at least five times for you to know whether it's really working. As you can see, see this one now, it's, it's, it's shrinking, but it might not be the way you want it to be. So all you need to do is to sew more like four times before you can be able to conclude. Okay, let's go again. Remember what I said, half inch. Okay, let's go again. So as you can see, we are almost done. Look at it. This is how the um, stitch is. Okay. So we need to continue because we've not, we are not done with the upper side. So you can see. So that's what we are doing. Now. share to work like this please make sure you like this video make sure you comment make sure you subscribe it is your like your subscription that keeps us going that encourages us please make sure you do so As you can see, we are done with the stitching. So the next thing you need to do is to close the back part. Now keep it like this. Are you seeing it? Keep it like this. This is the back part. Keep it like this. Now you do what? You close the back part. This as you're closing, be careful so that everything will align. If you're not careful, one will be longer than the other one. You understand what I mean? Okay, so that is how you do it. So now you now have to remove the thread you have under and put the normal thread. So as you can see, we are done with the body of the clothes. As you can see, let me give you a closer look at everything. We are done. This is how you make your smoke stress. Now you can see what is actually remaining here is the sleeve. So you can put any sleeve of your choice. Or you can still wait for me to show you how to put a sleeve of my own choice. Okay? Let me show you the back part. This is another smoke dress that I made here. I made here. Okay? This is the back part. So what's remaining here is only the what? Sleeve. Smoke dress, they are usually very beautiful, very fine. But it's not as easy to sew. You must have patience before you finish this dress. Okay, so this is the um, smoke dress, as you can see. You guys saw it on the maniki, on the maniki. So what's remaining now is the sleeve. So in order for us to make the sleeve, there's, um, 
there is this measurement you need to take. First of all, you need to take the measurement from this side to this side. You see in it, look at it. You know, you need to see. It's a smoked dread, but it's still an off shoulder. So you need to make the sleeve like an off shoulder. In that case, the measurement from here to here, you need to have it. So what I have here is what? Seven inches. Are you seeing it? Okay. So now, next thing I need to do is I need to cut out the sleeve. So in order to cut out the sleeve, please, normally, we take, uh, we do some um, calculations in order to get what to use for our sleeve. But in this case, since we are making a smoked dress, that means there should be elastic on it. Then we don't need to do all those measurements. So I advise you to use from five to six inches depending on who you are making it for depending on how big the person is so in this case me personally I'm going to use six in five inches so from here mark out five inches are you seeing it so next thing you need to do remember what we got here because see we got what seven inches here so next thing we are going to do is to do what from here mark out what seven inches look at it from here mark it out seven inches Okay, like I said, from here, mark out what? 7 inches. This is it. So I want you to mark out 7 inches. I advise you to add an allowance. You can add what? Half to what? 1 inch allowance. Okay, let me add my allowance. Okay, so next thing you need to do is to measure the sleeve length. So in this case, now what I'll be using for this particular one is what? 8 inches. I'll be using what? 8 inches. So this is the 8 inches. You mark it down. Then you now mark out the round sleeve. The round sleeve, see, I will advise you not to even use the round sleeve. All you need to do is to do it. Because at the end of the day, after you finish uh, matching your elastic thread on it, it will smoke, like it's going to shrink. So there's no need. So after that, all you need to do is to do what? Cut it out. After cutting it out, next thing you need to do is to do what? Go on, sew it out. Go on, sew it, smoke it. So after you finish um, sewing it, next thing you need to do is to do what? Fix it on the clothes and your smoked or shared dress will be ready for you. Thank you very much. Please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, uh, make sure you watch till the end. Obviously, this is the end. So as you can see, we are done with the off shoulder shared or smoked dress. This is the upper part. And here comes the sleeve that we just inserted now. Okay, let me show you guys the back part. And this is the back part. So you can see, well fitted. So this is really how to make a smoked or shirt dress. Please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. Because the more you like it, the more others get to see it. And also make sure you comment, ask your questions. Wherever you feel you are confused, ask. And it shall be answered. Okay. So that is it. See, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure that this video goes viral. Make sure that immediately you finish watching, or even as you're watching, make sure you click on that like button, smash on that like button. Thank you very much. May God bless you.